Hello and welcome to another lecture on three-dimensional geometry that is based on the planes. Now so far we have already discussed about a plane equation in vector and Cartesian form and we have also discussed about the angle between two given planes and today we shall be starting with the angle between a plane and a line Later we are going to find the distance of a point from a plane and finally we shall conclude this lecture by discussing some numerical problems that would be based on concepts that we are going to discuss in the coming segment of this lecture. So starting with the angle between a line and a plane. First we are going to consider the vector form of plane that is let plane be has its vector equation as the scalar product of vector r and n is equal to d and the given line that is labeled as let's say l and which is not parallel to plane p is represented as positional vector r is equal to vector a plus lambda b where lambda represent a real number now this is the vector equation for the given line L. From the adjoining figure we can make out that we have a line L which lie on the plane P and it forms an angle of theta with the plane P. Then the angle between line L and the normal drawn to plane P is equal to pi by 2 minus theta. Therefore, the value of cos of pi by 2 minus theta is equal to this scalar product of vector b and vector n divided by the individual modulus of vector b and vector n. This implies that sine of theta is equal to the scalar product of vector b and vector n divided by the individual modulus of vector b and vector n. Now here since theta lies between 0 and pi and the value of sine theta is greater than 0 therefore the angle theta between the line L and the plane P is given by sine theta equal to modulus of scalar product of vector B and N divided by individual mods of vector B and vector N. Thus for the equations of plane in vector form we have the value of sine theta equal to mod of scalar product of vector b and n divided by individual mods of vector b and vector n where vector b represent the positional vector of line l and n vector represent the normal vector that is drawn to plane p from n now this is the value of angle theta which is obtained when we have the equation of the line and the plane in vector forms. Now if we have the plane in Cartesian form along with the line we have the plane as ax plus by plus cz equal plus d equal to 0 and the line is represented as x minus x1 divided by a equal to y minus y1 divided by b equal to z minus z1 divided by C and let n vector be a normal to the plane P and B vector be parallel to line L then vector n is equal to Ai plus Bj plus Ck and vector B is equal to small Ai plus Bj plus Ck where I, J and K represent unit vectors and are represented as i cap j cap and 
C gap respectively. And the angle between the line and the plane is given by sin theta equal to the scalar product of vector B and vector N divided by individual modes of vector B and vector N. Now substituting the values of B and N in this we have the value of modulus of scalar product of vector B and N as mod of AA plus BB plus CC whole divided by the individual modes of vector B and vector N which are root of A square plus B square plus C square and root of A square plus B square plus C square. Thus, when we have the equation of the plane and the line in Cartesian form, then we have the value of the angle between the line and the plane as shown. Next, we are going to discuss the value of the distance of a point from a plane when we have the equation of the plane in vector form and in Cartesian form. First, considering the vector form. Now, here the length of the perpendicular drawn from point P with position vector A to the plane P with the equation as shown is given by the distance P equal to the mod of the scalar product of vector A and N being subtracted by the distance T divided by mod of vector n. In Cartesian form, when we have the equation of the plane as ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0, the length of the perpendicular drawn from point p with coordinates let say x1, y1 and z1 to the plane as specified in this equation is given as mod of ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d whole divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Next we are going to discuss some problems. We have a problem in which we have to find the angle between the line which is given as x minus 6 divided by 3 equal to y minus 7 divided by 2 equal to z minus 7 divided by minus 2 and the plane which is represented as x plus y plus 2z equal to 0. Now the direction cosines of the given line are 3, 2 and minus 2 and the given plane is x plus y plus 2z equal to 0. Now if theta is the angle between the line and the plane then sin theta is equal to modulus of aa plus bb plus cc divided by root of summation of a square into summation of root of a square which is equal to mod of 1 into 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 2 into minus 2 whole divided by root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square into root of 3 square plus 2 square plus minus 2 square. This is equal to 1 divided by root of 1 0 2. And thus the value of the angle between the given line and the plane is equal to theta which is equal to sine inverse of 1 divided by root of 1 0 2. Thus we have evaluated the value of the angle between the given line and the plane. With this we conclude this lecture based on finding the angle between a line and a plane and the distance between a plane and a point.